Welcome, Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you your uh, beginning of December 2019 reading. Um, keep in mind, time is fluid, so it's going to be when you want to hear the message. If it doesn't resonate for you, you can try checking your moon, rising, and Venus signs for love. I do my uploads in reverse astrological order from Pisces to Aries if you're waiting for additional messages. You can now find my upload schedule in the description box below. I will upload early if I'm able to. Um, this month in, for December is Sagittarius season, so you will be getting a bonus reading. Um, just make sure to check that out if it does not resonate for you. For you, we have Playfulness, the Knight of Swords, Air Energy, the Magician, Aries, the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Fool, more Aries energy, the Moon, Pisces energy, and the Four of Swords, more Air energy. We also have Balance, like your person. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords, Air energy. You actually got this in, your, in the bonus reading as well. So a couple of these cards, you had um, these two major arcana and the ten swords. So, you know, you very well may resonate with that reading. You may want to check it out just in case. Um, it was more or less so about a karmic partner, um, someone detached from a current partner, and there needed to be um, some, um, my goodness, my mind went blank, more or less needing to be um, patient and gentle with that person as they disconnect from their partner. So that may or may not resonate with some people. But for this reading, let's dive in. With the Ten of Swords, there was some type of ending here. Some type of ending. It was painful. Somebody had to walk away from something. So a new cycle could begin. I'm going to read this like it's your energy. This is your person. But you can flip it. It's a general reading. However, it resonates with your situation. So after this ending, Spirit's really advising you to recapture your playful energy, to really have fun, you know, to be more optimistic, to be cheerful, to do things that excite you, to do things that motivate you, to really be flirtatious and fun and not so serious, right? To just have a good time, you know, laugh, play, right? With the Knight of Swords here, I feel like you're in the energy where you're not ready. Whatever you went through, Sagittarius, you don't want to repeat of that. You want to move forward with truth and clarity and honesty in any future future connection that you that you go after, right? Excuse me. With a magician, I feel like you have all the tools and your power to manifest any type of new beginning that you want. You know, you've got the uh, pinnacle for stability. You've got the wand for passion. You've got the cup for emotion. Um, you've got the sword for clarity, right? Communication. You've got all the tools in your power to manifest anything. You know, I feel like you are manifesting right now. I feel like you're manifesting something new. Whatever you went through in the past, this could be a past connection of some sort, it was painful. You do not want to repeat of that. With the Queen of Pentacles, this is you, Sagittarius, really standing in your um, Queen of Pentacles energy. This is someone who's really holding that pinnacle, you know, on her lap. She's very nurturing she's very um committed she's very loyal she's very honest she's very hard working she's very abundant you know whatever she has no matter how big or small what she has to offer is you know she looks after it she nurtures it you know she doesn't give up easily she's someone who's in it for the long haul she takes care of what's hers she built she grows right masculine or feminine doesn't matter that's just the energy of the card in your person's energy here, we have balance. They're trying to find harmony in their life. They're trying to find a way to keep things balanced. Maybe they're juggling work and school and a relationship and their finan like finances, like whatever it is, family obligations, social obligations, whatever it is. They're trying to balance all these things out. I do see them very optimistic here. I do see them very playful, very optimistic, very... Um, this card can be a little bit immature. For some people, may not not everyone, but it's it's just the energy is very youthful of this card. Someone who's very um, fun, right? Someone very lively. Someone who just they just have this playful energy. I feel like this, the conversation between you and this person is very flirty. It's very flirtatious. It's very fun. You smile a lot when you're around this person. But I think you're still um, dealing with whatever you had ending in the past that was really painful for you. I feel like there is some secrets here. I feel like, you know, you've been hurt in the past. This person may not 
fully understand what you went through. Um, you may not have been open and really talked about everything that you went through with this person from the past. Or um, there could be secrets here just regarding things you haven't told them or things they haven't told you. Um, emotions haven't been expressed. There's just some things that haven't been illuminated on. There's just some mystery here with the Pisces moon. With the Four of Swords, this is about rest. I feel like this person is really trying to gain a new perspective. They're trying to recuperate their energy. They're trying to gain this new perspective here because I don't think they really know how you truly feel. And I don't think they're quite sure yet if they can, because the fool can be a little immature. They may not know how to express themselves to you and tell you how they truly feel. What additional messages and clarity can you bring Sagittarius for the first half of December 2019? What messages spirit do you have for Sagittarius? Oops. Yeah, three of Pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, earth energy here. This person, they're trying to figure out how to balance everything out that's going on in their life because they do want to grow with you. They do want to build. They do want to offer you something long term. The three is just a start, though. Like, you know, it's just, it's, it's you know, this is a newer connection, I feel. <clears throat> we have the tower here. So, yeah, every, your life got turned upside down, Sagittarius. Keep in mind, this could apply to crosswalk or just switch it if it's, if it's vice versa. But your life got flipped, turned upside down, right? And I'm thinking of that Fresh Prince song. The person who hurt you from the past, I mean, they really did you dirty. Like, they just, they caused you a lot of pain, a lot of grief. You know, it just, it really shook up your foundation. And you're having a hard time just being playful. You know, everything's really serious. You're really focused on what's going on in the past. And you're not quite trusting. Wherever this person that hurt you in the past, you're not quite trusting. You're just charging in here, cutting everything, cutting everything down. I want truth. I want answers. I want clarity. You know, I'm ready to manifest something serious, you know. Let's see. The Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person here, Sagittarius, your person, I feel like they have a lot of things they're trying to juggle in their life. I do feel like they're sincere. I do feel like they're honest. I do feel like they want to put the, the work and the collaboration in here to work on a relationship with you. But I feel like this person, they may be very hardworking. You know, they may have um, a career that keeps them busy or school or just a lot of things they're trying to juggle in their life. And they're just trying to figure out how to balance everything because they've been very um, flirtatious with you, but they haven't been serious. And I feel like they haven't been serious because they do know that you've been hurt in the past. They may not know the extent of it, but they they come off very flirtatious, a little immature. There's some secrets here. I don't feel like they've been completely hot and heavy and honest with you about how they're truly feeling about the situation. Just because they know what you've been through and they know at this time they've got so much on their plate, they really can't give you the... Um, um, solid offer that they want to give you. King of Swords here on the bottom of the deck. It could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius or someone with strong air in their chart. This is just somebody who's taking control. Someone who's ready to cut anything out. This is someone who stands in their power. Someone who's a go-getter. They know what they want. Someone very bold, right? This person's courageous. This person's got a sword of truth and communication. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Just get over being sick. I feel like this person is going to be coming at you, Sagittarius, and they're going to try to illuminate some things. You're, you know, coming towards them. Okay, be honest with me. Where is this going? I'm manifesting. Am I manifesting you or am I moving on without you? Um, this person, I feel like, you know, may have acted a little immature or a little too playful or flirtatious in the past. I feel like they are going to bring you these answers. You know, I think it's all a matter of timing here. It's all a matter of timing. This person will come to you. They will give you the truth, clarity, the communication that you need in regards to illuminate the situation, to understand how they feel. I just feel like this person, you know, I feel like they're very hardworking. They're single. They're confident. They're independent. You know, they're very financially abundant. They're a very hardworking person. They they really put a lot of um, effort into their career, their finances, their home, their stability. They've got a lot of things they're focusing on. With the Page of Wands, I feel like there is going to be some communication, some type of message, some kind of clarity coming into you about this person and where they truly stand in this connection. I'd like to close with just a couple messages from the Romance Angels. Card for you, card for them. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So Sagittarius, that is your message. Um... To really be playful, you know, to let go of what happened, as painful as it was, and um, know that not everyone is out to hurt you. You know, um, you will get that truth, that clarity that you need, but you need to heal. 
wedding. The situation involves marriage, so you could have been married to this person in the past. Um, this person could you could have been in, you could have been in a marriage with someone else and it didn't end very well. Or this could be progressing to marriage. It definitely could. On the bottom of the deck here, we do have soulmate. But yes, this person is your soulmate. So, you know, I do feel like there's a strong connection here. There's a lot of playful energy. You have a lot of fun. You laugh a lot with this person. This person really, I feel like you've laughed more and enjoyed the moments more with this person than you have in a long time, Sagittarius. But I do see that truth and communication coming to you. I do see clarity on this situation. I do see stability coming in. I just feel like it's all a matter of timing. But you are going to get the answers that you seek. All right, Sagittarius, that was your first half of December read for 2019. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I thank you so very much for watching. I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.